and in the query we want to go to the end of it all right and I'm just gonna make a new line and we want to use order space by and then the name of the field that we want to order by um, in this case will be posts dots title Right. So we're, we're ordering these, the posts, right now. All right, now you can also specify if you want it descending or ascending. All right, so we want to we want to have it descending. All right, so now our last post will always be up top. And we want to do the same with the categories as well. Okay, so select all from categories. order by name and we want it descending all right so really all we have left to do now is update all right so we want to be able to update a post and save it which will be basically the same exact functionality as the add post okay so let's go to uh, edit post do I have it open all right, so I'm going to grab the same um, code from add post where we check for if if the submit button was clicked. All right, I'm going to just get all of that. All right, and then I'm going to create a new PHP block for this. You don't have to, but I just like to have um, basically each PHP block will have the same relative functionality. Okay, so if it's submitted, we're gonna get the variables just like we did with the add post. We're gonna do a check on them. And then if all the fields are filled out correctly, we wanna run a query, but we don't want insert into posts. We wanna change this. I'm just gonna delete all that all right so we want to say update posts um, let's see update posts and then we want to set all right we want to set title is going to be equal to title Let me just put this on a new line. Okay. Title, what else we got? Body. Category. and tags and we also want to throw in a, a where clause because we need to tell it which post to update so I'm going to say where uh, where posts actually we don't need that we can just say where ID is equal to ID okay so we're going to change this insert row to update and we want to change the method name to update as well okay save that all right so let's try that out Okay, so test post, let's change the title to test post new, submit. All right, so we're getting undefined index ID. All right, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Edit post on line three. Okay, so on line three, we're just getting the get ID. All right, so I think when we're submitting it, 
the ID is removed from the from the uh, URL. So what we need to do is go down to the form and let's add that on to the action value. Okay, so we're going to say ID equals concatenate on the ID. Action. Oh, actually, we need to just open up a PHP block right here. Um, all right, so let's get rid of this. And then right here, we'll say PHP echo ID, which is coming from here. All right, so let's try that again. Okay, so test post new, submit, record updated. And then you can see, you can't see, it's not here. <laughs> uh, record updated. Let's check our database. Okay, so we want the post table. Test post new. Oh, category zero. All right, so I know why that happened. Where our option for a category, we don't have a value. Okay, so we got to put a value in here, which is going to be the ID of the category. So echo. Uh, we want to echo row ID. All right, so that should give us a value now. I'm going to manually change this in in the uh, PHP my admin just so it shows up. All right, so you can see that it did change. It's just the category wasn't added. So let's change it again. We'll change it back to test post, test post test. All right, and we'll even change the category to tutorials. Okay, submit, record updated, test post test, category tutorials. All right, so that's working beautiful. Now we get to do the uh, same thing with the category. So we want to go to edit, um, edit category inside of our admin folder. Okay, and let me just copy the code from edit post. Okay, so we just want to get this um, post block. Paste that in. Okay, so if post submit, the only value you need to get is name. And we're going to get the ID from the get from the uh, get array. Okay, so name, and we can get rid of all these other ones. And we're just going to check for the name. Okay, so if name is equal to nothing, we'll get an error. Okay, so here we're going to say update categories, and we're going to set name to name. All right, and we can get rid of these. Get rid of that comma. Okay, where ID equals ID is fine. Update row, fine. All right, so let's try that. Let's change the test category to test category two. Uh, undefined index. All right, so it looks like, um, let's see, name. Is name. Oh, same thing. We need to add it to the action URL. We need to add the ID. So ID equals PHP echo ID. And that should be good. Test category two submit. Um, okay, still. We're in edit category. And we're submitting the form to edit category dot php id equals id oh okay i think we just need to reload 
All right, so test category, test category two, submit, record updated. All right, cool. So now all we have left is to delete. We want to be able to delete records. Okay, so uh, we'll start with the post. Okay, so we want to be able to click this and have it delete. And this should be really easy. Okay, so inside of edit post, we have an input with the name delete. So we're going to check for that just like we check for submit. So I'm just going to copy that. Okay, so if is set post delete, all right, then call delete method. Um, We'll say, actually, we're going to create the query first. So query equals, this is going to be really easy. We're just going to say delete. Um, we want to do delete from posts where ID is equal to and then we'll concatenate on ID. All right, and then we just basically want to do the same thing here. Except we'll call this delete row. And that's going to be the delete method. All right. And again, the delete method is going to do the same thing. It's going to call the query, and then it's going to redirect us with a message. All right, so let's reload this and click delete. Record deleted. You can see it's no longer there. All right, so that's working good. Next, we just need to do the category. OK, so let's just copy this block and paste it in. Okay, um, delete from, we want to change this to categories, where ID equals ID, and that should be it. We'll go to our test category, delete, and it's deleted. So now we have a fully functional admin area where we can easily add posts, delete posts, add categories, delete categories. All right, and we can visit. Um, looks like I have my link wrong in the um, admin header file. So visit blog. Oh, I have two uh, colons here, so let's get rid of one of those. Okay, visit blog takes us to the front end. And just to test that we can add a, um, a post and it shows up. New post. This is a post. Tags. Okay, so we'll submit. There's our new post in the back end and the front end also our new post uh, one more thing I just want to make it so our new posts show up at the top which is very simple we just need to add an order clause <clears throat> so on index uh, I'm sorry we want the front end index I'm gonna close all of these because we're all done with the admin stuff okay so inside of the front end index we're just gonna add on to this query say order by um, order by we want to do ID and we want that to be descending okay so now our post is at the top and we can do the same thing to the post.php file as well so let's open that up 
and order by ID descending. Okay, and we'll also do it up here. Order by ID descending. All right, so that's it. Our front end and back end is complete. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next project.